Well, hi, everybody. I'm Bob Shazais. I'm president and CEO of LEAP, Lansing Economic Area Partnership. And for the next couple of minutes, we'll recap 2019 and we'll talk about a few of our priorities for 2020. It's going to be a very exciting year. 2019 was a really spectacular year as far as economic development is concerned, perhaps even historic from our regional standpoint. Uh, this is not an overall picture of economic development. These are just LEAP projects that we assisted the private sector to help them create. But preliminary we believe that we're at $495 million of private investment through a number of projects and then over 1,600 jobs and these are good paying very good jobs for people. Uh, the two highlights of, of that recruitment effort and the investment is certainly Morley Company which is representing a Fortune 500 company and this is an IT contact center with 500 jobs in Delta Township and then was our Wayfair project which is also 500 jobs in an IT contact center uh, two really powerful companies, great companies, paying well, taking good care of their employees. And this is, I think, really not only going to provide an opportunity to a lot of people in our region, but it may very well attract a lot of people from outside of our region even to take the jobs, plus our big small city environment that's here. The big part of the investment was finally, we've counted after years working on it, but the Red Cedar Development Project, which is a global village on Michigan Avenue, a wonderful, spectacular, uh, mixed-use project along the river connecting Michigan State University, East Lansing and Lansing and Lansing Township at the Frandor area. This is a quarter billion dollar with a B uh, project and this is going to be a spectacular project too that we spent years uh, carefully working on. We also will be unveiling a very spectacular um, uh, ecosystem or programs related to entrepreneurship ecosystem and it's going to be very unique to the state of Michigan and the country and how we work on inclusiveness and making sure that all people have a pathway to participate in our business startup programs right here at LEAPS. We also continue to work on our City of Lansing contract, Ingham County contract, contract and our regional smart zone contract in the City of Lansing. Um, under that contract, a lot of work will be with facades and corridor improvement authorities, really trying to emphasize those corridors and improve the look and help improve the businesses along those corridors and give more opportunity uh, to everybody along there. Another big point of emphasis for LEAP in 2020 will be our continued historic efforts to recruit and attract businesses from all around the world right here to our Lansing region. Again, we had great success last year and the year before. Companies from Ireland, from Turkey, from outside of the state of Michigan, big companies, big job numbers. And finally, our region has added this to our repertoire. It's very important. It's a strong signal that our region has really arrived from an economic development standpoint. Uh, we've been badly behind other regions, frankly, in this area. But we got it together. We know what we're doing. We know how to do it. It's intentional. Um, requires big team support with LEAP, uh, sort of the tip of the spear, if you will. But we're going to land a lot more companies in 2020, I predict. We're very excited about our partnership with the Lansing Regional Chamber of Commerce. We'll be unveiling it here in a month or two. But this is where, um, you know, we want to uh, really take a look at our growing economy and compare ourselves to uh, economies that we think look like us around the country, Nashville's, Greenville's, um, Columbus, Madison's, we, we, Hartford's, Des Moines, we want to understand those communities and how we match up from a competitive standpoint. The more we compare ourselves to them, the more we'll realize how much we need to double down and get to work and seize the momentum and opportunity of the incredible economic development that we have going on now. So it's going to be a very busy and very fruitful uh, and a great 2020. We can't hardly wait to get to work on it.